the thing that is uh, so, to me, so good about your book um, for a reader is that not only do you know that there's deep knowledge here, but your skill at being able to hold our attention and make us turn the page as a writer, as a storyteller, uh, and the way you make use of the poker, the rhythms of poker and each game and how each story builds in the game to mini climaxes leading to a, a final climax in some cases is masterful. And also what a reader needs to know in a, in a book like this, which is that you're not going to be dangled over the chasm of, of uh, what's happening and what's going on and where is this? Because it's very concrete and very real and um, it makes you turn the page. It's uh, Here's the thing I wanted to ask you. There's two great themes as I read the book. One is about legacy, the other is about marriage. And I think that the issue of legacy is really interesting in this book because the father and son character are very compelling. And the father is, a, um, is an ex-con, he's out of prison, but he's obviously um, a, a self-serving person, but also extremely devoted to the idea that his son is gonna be better than he is. And there's gonna be a, a, um, a reckoning between father and son. On the other hand, there's also the sins of the father, which, which Nate, the, the hero, the son, is constantly living with and, and struggling against. And he both loves his father, but he sees his father is going to drain him if he gets too close. There's, there's some narcissism there, but it's not really the issue. The issue is really, what has Nate's father condemned Nate to, and to what extent will Nate transcend it? And I felt like... Um, Poker was the perfect way to do it. There's a, there's a way in which the, the fate of the father, um, I mean, there's that Hemingway quote about the father who commits suicide is condemning his son uh, mm -hmm. to, this, to the same fate. And I mean, do you believe that? Is, that, is, that, is there a core there that you were getting to? You know, I certainly struggled with that in my own life. Um, I think, uh, you know, not only father, son, but, but mother, son too, we, we are parents. We, we often, you know, wonder whether we are, we are going to follow in their footsteps and make the same mistakes that they made and whether their mistakes condemn us to, to making those same mistakes. And I know particularly in the case of my father who was, uh, who was a writer and uh, ultimately not a successful writer, I wondered if I was going down that same path. And, and so, uh, you know, there was sort of an inexorable kind of magnetic pull toward going down that path. And I was really interested in this novel and exploring that and seeing whether one, you know, whether this character could transcend that and whether in fact uh, the, the father uh, could somehow, who, who recognized the, his, fail, his own failings, but also felt guilty about, about leading his son in that direction, whether he could help him out of that hole. And, and so that actually ends up becoming, you know, the, the crux of the novel. 